How's it going, you fine people? I'm Jake the Ash and Hollow. So there's been a question that's been on my mind since around nearly the first time I played Dark Souls, and that is, what in the tits are the Batwing demons about? Chaos demons serving Gwyn and Anorlando, wielding lightning? Did Gwyn capture and tame these demons while he was fighting them in Isolith? Maybe. But how could anyone really control a creature of pure chaos? It just didn't make a lot of sense to me until recently when I had an epiphany. Now, epiphany isn't just a name black women give to their daughters, it for the most part means a realization. And that realization is that these batwing demons weren't always demons. We already know that when the Witch of Isolith and her daughters lost control of the Flame of Chaos, thus creating the Bed of Chaos, that demons were born. Born from the Bed and born from the Flame, we can see this in Quelag and the Fair Lady, and the Demon's Catalyst says, The Demon Fire Sage was the first demon and the last master of the original fire arts before the Witch of Isolith was engulfed by Chaos, creating Pyromancy. So it's quite apparent that regular people exposed too heavily to the flame can be transfigured or deformed, however you choose to view it, into demons. So let's look at the army Gwyn took to fight the chaos with. His black knights, right? But they weren't always black. Originally they were all silver knights, but amidst fighting the chaos, they were charred black. Then, after not defeating the demons, they went with Gwyn to the kiln, and when he linked the flame, they then became Ash, and that's what prompted them to wander around haunting Lordran and so on and so forth. So much for becoming more resistant to flame, I suppose. But anyways, my point at bringing this up is, look at how much their armor was deformed just fighting against the chaos. It looks corrupted in a way, and certainly not how their armor originally looked. It was then that I had the thought of, what would they look like if they had been completely consumed by chaos? And then I was like, oh shit! The Batwing demons certainly bear resemblance to Gwen's knights. The elongated horns being slender and tall, the weapons of both the Batwing demons and Silver Knights being infused with the lightning of the Lord of Sunlight himself? It kind of shocked me how simple that theory seemed and how it was always right under my nose. That's why Gwyn had demons working for him. That's why these chaos demons are wielding his lightning. Just as these knights served Gwyn, the gods in their age of fire before, they still serve now, just as demons. But thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video is a little shorter than they usually are. I have a bunch of little ideas and theories that I don't know quite what to do with and how to fit them into any other videos. So I hope you guys are okay with me doing a few that are much shorter than usual. But if you guys haven't subscribed already, I hope that you will. And you can find all my social media and all that good shit down in the description below. Hope you'll hang out with me in Discord. All that good stuff, all those plugs. Awesome. Take care, you guys. Until next time.